Hey guys, what's up and welcome back, it's your Recorded here. In today's video, I'll be showing you a short video on how can you fix or install the .NET Framework 3.5 on Windows 11. But before we start, our sponsor for this video is cdkoffers.com where you could buy affordably cheap license keys, such as the Microsoft Office 2016 that recently dropped its price down to $34. Not only could you buy Microsoft Office keys, but also you can get way cheaper legit Windows license keys. Simply look for whichever license is suitable for your Windows installation. Installation. After choosing which Windows license you'll be needing, simply click on the Buy Now button. Then enter Dude20 to save up 20% on your purchase. You'll be taken to the payment gateways afterwards, and once done paying, you'll immediately receive the key and be able to activate it on your Windows. So, going back, we can now go ahead and go to our Start menu and then click on the settings. It should open up the new interface of the settings on Windows 11, so we need to go to the apps. And then click on the optional features. Navigate through the bottom of this list and you will be able to see the more Windows features. You should be able to see here the .NET Framework 3.5. So just simply toggle this checkbox right here and hit the OK button. Make sure though that you are connected to the internet. So now that I am connected on the internet, just simply click on the Let Windows Update download the files for you. It should begin downloading the required files for the .NET Framework 3.5. You simply have to wait for it to finish. Once the installation is complete, you'll be able to see that Windows completed the requested changes. Simply go ahead and close this window and go ahead and restart your computer to make sure that the changes have been applied successfully. However, in some cases, that particular method might not work for some setup. And so the other solution to fix this or to install the .NET Framework 3.5 is to use the command prompt. So go ahead and go to the start menu and right click it. Click on the Windows terminal as administrator. Take note that you need to have administrative privileges in order for this to work. Simply hit the yes button. Go ahead and paste this command onto the command line or terminal. I'll be placing this command onto the description so that you could just simply copy and paste it. Again, make sure that you are connected on the internet before hitting the enter button as this would require internet connectivity. It should begin enabling the feature using the deployment image servicing and management tool. Once that framework 3.5 has been successfully installed, it will show you that the operation completed successfully. We're gonna go ahead and close again this window and go ahead and proceed with the restart of our computer again to make sure that the changes have been applied onto our computer. However, if still after doing those changes that still didn't work for you, we can now go ahead and go back to the start menu and right click it and click on the Windows terminal and run it as administrator. Again, once more, hit the yes button. We're going to run the system file checker tool by typing sfc space forward slash scan now. This should scan or perform a system scan to check any corrupted or missing components or files onto your system and verify and fix them for you. This could be one of the reasons why the installation of .NET Framework 3.5 could be failing on your end. After that, we're going to open up our web browser and then go ahead and paste this onto the address bar. We're going to download the .NET Framework manually and then click on the download button. Once the full .NET Framework 3.5 has been downloaded, simply click on the open. Again, you need to have administrative privileges. Simply hit the yes button. Minimize this window. You should be able to see this particular window right here. So click on the download and install this feature to ensure that you are downloading other required files onto your Windows installation. And once the download or installation is complete, it will again ask you to restart your computer to have the feature fully enabled onto your computer. So go ahead and close that one and go ahead and restart your computer. And hopefully by this time, the .NET Framework has been already successfully installed onto your Windows 11 installation.